I've never, I've never completed in half snatch, but uh, when I watched your video, you actually did an extra breathing cycle as opposed to no extra breathing cycle. But when it gets heavy, the tendency is to hold our breath here and just kind of do this thing. But when we get tired, fixation starts to become questionable. And with a judge, you know, as they try to be more professional, it's going to be more scrutiny. In fact, uh, the rules of the competition are dictated by how strict the judge is. Let me explain. So I could, I watched and witnessed someone at a world championship that lost in snatching. This person did 200 snatches, 32, their best job. They did 167 at this competition in Germany because the judge would not count sooner than kind of like one of these where he would snatch one, two, three, four. So he had to wait for the judge before starting his next rep. But one of the things to get into habit, um, and it's important to maintain with a heavy bow, is I'll do a half snatch where we exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So there's no extra up here. But at the same time, I'm not holding my breath. I'll demonstrate audibly. 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 Do an extra reading cycle, it's gonna look something like this, or sound something like this. If I go fast and keep the same breathing cycle, meaning the same amount of breaths, I can do it faster. But really, it's like overkill. But you'd be surprised how much your lungs expand. Because if I breathe with a cadence cycle properly, and it's heavy, that's the key, is it heavy? I'm actually gonna breathe slower in the beginning and speed up my breathing cadence later in the set. Um, for your homework, I only need it five minutes, not 10 and no music, uh, but I can still hear you breathing. But you know, it, I, if I made a mistake, I thought the competition was five minutes. Um, you don't have to get crazy with snatch training in terms of super long sets. Um, you know, you, wanna, you do wanna intermix lighter bells for fast pace, and we might do some double half snatch as well. Um, with bells that are, you know, up to in the neighborhood of uh, 16, maybe 18, maybe 20 kilograms, um, because it'll help you with your overall physical condition, and you'll be able to get um, 28 very manageably. And we might have a snatch heavier than 28 on one arm. It would just be for a shorter time, and. The, the key is breathing. So, like, think of it this way. I'm going to demonstrate when I first start my set from minute one. You can, you can do this where you'll ride a bike for 20 minutes before your event and you break maybe like 10, 15 minutes before your event. 
so that your lungs are expanded, or you can go outside for a light jog, something in the neighborhood of 130, 140 beats a minute, not crazy, um, so that when you pick up your bell, your rhythmic, your rhythmic breathing will happen sooner. So if you just show up and warm up like with a couple reps and then you're ready, you probably can push through it, um, but your lungs are gonna need time to expand. So let me show you the difference between one minute pace and um, you know, five minute pace. What does that mean? It means how fast I'm going with the same breathing cadence, same count of breath. In the first minute, because my lungs are warming up, versus the fifth minute, but where they're expanded and I'm breathing faster. So if it's light enough for me, I can keep my breathing cadence consistent throughout, and that's kind of ideal. Um, but for something like this, where it's heavy, you don't want to overbreathe in the beginning. You don't want to sit there and take extra breaths because there's really no point because you're not using oxygen as a main uh, source of energy in the beginning. You're using like the ATP, TP, and the sugar, um, at least up till two minutes. Like the first 30 seconds is like your sprint, and then like it starts to get into like a sugar anaerobic, aerobic, and then after that it starts to get more aerobic, anaerobic. Um, but it's not quite all of one or the other. And if your breathing isn't dialed in uh, as much, you're gonna you're gonna uh, panic. Maybe not you, but people tend to panic. So anyway, I'll shut up and get started. So this is like the beginning of my set. Here's what it is later in the set when I'm warmed up my lungs. So you can see there's like an exhale at the very top. When you exhale, your shoulder settles into place but if you don't get that exhale and you hold your breath, it doesn't quite settle. And as we move along and we get tired, as I stated earlier, that's gonna be a long-term problem, both in understanding it and during a time set. Uh, 